Good morning, everybody. My name is Elaine Alec, and I am the author of Calling My Spirit Back. I have had a number of people ask me how I wrote my book and how I managed to finish it. So I decided I'd share a video with you to give you a few ideas on how to get started. Um, just so you know, I've wanted to write this book for the last 10 to 15 years. And there have been a number of times where I started and wrote anywhere from 30 to 75 pages and just could not get past that. And I did reach out to a number of people to get support or help in writing my book, but not a lot of response and I totally don't take that personal. It's, it's a really laborious um, process. And so, you know, I when people ask me now, I don't even know where to begin. And so one of the things I wanted to share right off the bat was a uh, YouTube channel uh, from Jerry Jenkins who did a it's about a 35 minute video on how to write a book in 13 steps and I don't know him I'm not getting paid to advertise him I just thought I would not have been able to write my book without um, his YouTube videos and his mail outs so I wanted to pay it back by promoting his site because I wouldn't have been able to write my book without that um, and I didn't pay for anything. It was all of those resources that he shares are free. So in December 2019, I sat down and wrote my outline, asked my husband if uh, he would support me in writing that book. And he, of course, had no problem with that as I locked myself away from him and the kids to get the book done. And in January 2020, I had my first draft no clue what to do with it. I had no idea what traditional publishing and self-publishing was. I got really intimidated by the process of submitting it to a traditional publisher, looking for a book agent and trying to find a way to get it published that way. And then I started looking into self-publishing and realized that that could be a real option for me. And the biggest thing you know, I had to learn um, over the last few years is belief in myself, um, investing in myself and just trusting that, you know, just trusting in my faith, I guess. And so when I looked at traditional publishing, it was a really long process. Um, it really depended on everybody at the, tradition, uh, the traditional publishing house. And it could have, it could get to the point for a writer where the publisher might not even decide to publish your book. And they don't have to market your book. They don't have to put any money into it at all to market your book. And so it's really up to the author to do that. So when I looked into self-publishing, I realized the biggest thing would be the costs needed to actually have it published and if you wanted a really good book and you wanted it really professionally done you're going to have to invest in it and so i i've um been working with talwell and i have also i'm also not just exclusively working with them to get my book done i've worked with my sister on the book cover i've worked with, with another one of my friends who's also an editor who did my very first edit on the book um, and I've also worked with, I'm also working with another website designer and someone else to do my marketing and SEO and Google Analytics. And then I'm also working with a project manager, another editor who's doing the edits and the proofreading, uh, along with a designer who's doing the interior layout and a marketing team as well. And so I've invested about $12,000 into my book and that is a gigantic leap of faith. It is going to be up to me to promote my book and get it out there. And hopefully people will wanna buy it. So um, I, I wrote the book because I really wanted to help others, um, you know, find that faith in themselves. And, you know, it's a cross between a self-help spiritual book and a planning book and so it's really it's really a 
beautiful journey because I am really open and honest about my life and my own character defects and the things that I did in my life, which included, you know, becoming an alcoholic at the age of 12 and being a very abusive, um, manipulative partner in person because I didn't know how not to be. And it was my um, self-preservation skills and living in complete poverty and not having anything in debt, uh, having my car repoed and you know trying to just get by and having my son taken away from me because I couldn't take care of him to now at the point where I've I've run a number of businesses um, starting at the age of 21 and I'm looking you know at different ways to you know continually grow and and share what I've learned with others so, you know, there, that's, that's one of the main reasons I wrote my book. I wanted to help people. I wanted to help others find ways to cultivate safe spaces for themselves and for others. And I also wanted to um, reach out to young women, especially, um, that you're not alone and that there may be things um, in your life or your past that you might be ashamed of, but you're not alone and that it is possible to move past those things and, and those mistakes and those learning times to actually really grow from it and contribute to your life in a meaningful and beautiful way. So I hope that's what you know people take away from it and that um, when my book starts um, going out for distribution, which will hopefully be mid-July, that you will support the book and buy it. Um, my website is still getting built. It's www.elainealec.com and I will have a mailing list. So if you join, uh, you can be one of the first people to know when uh, my book goes into pre-sales. And it will be available in some bookstores and uh, you will be able to purchase it on Amazon. And I am looking into getting audiobooks. So um, I just really wanted to take the time to thank everybody for their support. Um, I will continue to post YouTube videos about my journey, about some of the things that I've learned, about some of the things in the book, and maybe do a reading um, of one of my chapters on my channel. So um, if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be greatly appreciated to help advertise and get my book out there. So I think that's about it. And... I hope you have a great day and I am so, 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 so grateful and thankful to everybody for your support, your words, your messages, because it's really helped me um, go through this very emotional and personal process. So thank you, White Lim Lim.